Today we are going to be talking about the long journey of the sperm inside of the male reproductive system. Imagine that this apartment is like the male reproductive system. Out there would be the scrotum. The scrotum is located outside of the body or the abdominal cavity. So uh, inside of the scrotum, there is the testis where the sperm cells are produced. Uh, the sperm cells uh, are produced in a place called the seminiferous tubules. After the, uh, uh, the sperm cells are produced, they move over to the epididymis, where the sperm cells mature. I am a sperm. My function is to carry genetic information to the egg. I have a huge head that contains DNA, a narrow body, which has mitochondria. The mitochondria will create energy, so I can move with my flagellum or my tail. It will move in a wave-like motion. There are around 300 million sperm produced per day, and after ejaculation, sperm can live only for 10 to 48 hours. After the sperm cells are uh, matured from the epididymis, they move through a tube called the sperm duct or the uh, vas deferens. Once uh, they uh, go through the vas deferens, they reach three other parts of the uh, male reproductive system. The seminal vesicle, the prostate gland, and the Cowper's gland. This is the seminal vesicle. The seminal vesicle is a sapphire structure that are attached to the vas deferens just below the bladder. They produce a sticky and yellowish fluid that contains fructose. This is the prostate gland. The prostate gland is responsible for making the production of semen, a liquid mixture of sperm cells, seminal fluid, and prostate fluid. They are surrounded by ejaculatory ducts that, um, that are located at the base of the urethra, just below the bladder. And over here is the copper gland. The copper gland are two glands that are located at the sides of the urethra, just below the prostate gland. They uh, produce a slippery and clear liquid th fluid that are emptied directly through the urethra. They all produce semen. Semen uh, nourish and protect the sperm and they give nutrition and energy so that the sperm can move. And they are also alkaline so that they are protect so that the sperm are protected uh, from the from the acid fluid in the female vagina. And then over here is the urethra. The urethra is a thin tube within the penis that guides the semen out of the body during ejaculation. Are sac-like structures uh, that are attached to the vas deferens at the base of the urethra. Eh, sala, sala, sala. The scrot, the testis is uh, outside of the uh, body or the abdominal cavity uh, in order to keep uh, the temperature of the testis cool. This is uh, so the sperms can produce, uh, reproduce. Gimana ya, Ogla? Kenapa sih harus naik temperaturnya? I'm a sperm. My function is to carry information genetic to the egg, and this is salah-salah. <laughs>